So let us solve one more problem on right measure. The displacement S of a particle traveling in a straight line in t seconds is given by S is equal to 45 t plus 11 t square minus t cube. Find the time when the particle comes to rest. So that means the relationship between displacement S and time is given by S is equal to 45 t plus 11 t square minus t cube. Now what we have to find out the time when the particle comes to rest. When the particle comes to rest means the final velocity becomes zero. We need to find out the time. At what instant the final velocity becomes zero. So that has to be here evaluated. So that means we need to find out ds by dt that is the velocity and equate it to zero. Then we have to find out t that is all. So that means in this problem just we have to consider on this relation we need to find out ds by dt that is velocity v and equate it to 0 and just evaluate the values of t. Okay? Let us solve the problem. Given, given relation between s and t. s is equal to 45t plus 11 t square minus t cube. So differentiate both sides with respect to t. So ds by dt. Equal to d by dt of 45t plus 11t square minus t cube. So, this equal to t differentiation 1 45 into 145 plus 11 into 2t t square differentiation. This is 3t square. So, it can be simplified. 45 plus 22 t minus 3 t square. So, this is V. So, V is equal to d s by d t is equal to 45 plus 22 t minus 3 t square. Okay. According to the problem, according to the problem v is equal to 0 velocity is equated to 0 that means 45 plus 22 t minus 3 t square is equal to 0 multiply minus 1 on either sides both sides we get 3 t square minus 22 t minus 45 is equal to 0. What does it resemble? It resembles to be a quadratic equation in terms of t. So, let it be solved using factorization method. So, here see 45 into 3 15 135. So, let us find out the factors now here. Again we can write this is 15 into 3 into 3. Again 3 into 5 into 3 into 3. Okay, 27 yes. So, this is 9, 20 this we can write like this because minus 135. Now, you can write like this minus 27 into 5. So, the middle term can be split as like this 3 t square minus 27 t plus 5 t minus 45 equals to 0. Okay. So, from these two terms we can take 3 t common we have 
t minus 9 plus 5 common t minus 9 equals to 0. Take t minus 9 common, we get 3t plus 5 is equal to 0. We get two cases. t minus 9 equals to 0, 3t plus 5 equal to 0. t is equal to 9, here 3t equal to minus 5, t equal to minus 5 by 3. Time cannot be negative, t value should not be negative, so this should be discarded. So that means when t is equal to 9 seconds, the particle comes to rest. That means after traveling 9 seconds, the particle comes to the rest. So therefore, so after t is equal to 9 seconds, 9 seconds, the particle, the particle comes to rest, okay. The distance time formula for the motion of a particle along a straight line is given by s is equal to t cube minus 9t square plus 20 40 minus 18. Find when and where the velocity is 0. So that means when means actually t has to be evaluated, where means at that t instant t we need to find out the distance travelled by the particle we need to find out whenever the velocity becomes 0. So that means first of all we need to find out ds by dt that is the velocity and equated to 0. We need to find out time at that instant we need to find out s value again. So now let us solve the problem. So given relation between s and t given relation is this one. So, s equals to t cube minus 9t square plus 24t minus 80. This is equation 1. Differentiate both sides. with respect to time t. So, ds by dt. d by dt of t cube minus 9t square plus 24t minus 18. So, let it be differentiated with respect to t. So, now t cube differentiation is 3t square minus 9 into t square differentiation is 2t. So, let us do 1 by 1 plus 24 times t differentiation 1 constant differentiation 0. So, we have 3t square minus 18t plus 24. This is ds by dt. So, that means v equals to ds by dt equals to 3t square minus 18t plus 24. Okay. If velocity is 0, if v is equal to 0, then, then this ds by dt becomes 0 because v is ds by dt only. So, that implies we get 3t square minus 18t plus 24 is equal to 0. It is a quadratic equation in t. So, using factorization method we can solve it for t values. 3 common t square minus 6t plus 8 equals to 0. 
So t square minus 60 plus 8 equal to 0 by 3 0. Now 4 2 j 8 the middle term can be split as minus 40 minus 2 t. So t square minus 4 t minus 2 t plus 8 is equal to 0. From first two terms take t common we have t minus 4 minus 2 common t minus 4 equals to 0. Again t minus 4 common into t minus 2 is equal to 0. Now we get two conditions t minus 4 is equal to 0, t minus 2 is equal to 0. That means t is equal to 4, t is equal to 2. At t is equal to 4 seconds or t is equal to 2 seconds, the velocity of the particle becomes 0. Now we need to find out where. That means when t is equal to 2, yes value we have to find out. So when t is equal to 2, s value. So that means here you can substitute s value. That means t cube 2 cube minus 9 into 2 square plus 24 into 2 and minus 18. Okay. This equals to 8 minus 9 into 4 plus 48 minus 18. This is 8 minus 36 plus 48 and minus 18. So, 48 plus 8 56 minus 36 minus 18 is minus 54. So, 2 this is 2 units distance s is 2 units. So, in the similar manner when t is equal to 4 seconds s value. Now, you can simplify yourself also that is so better you can do separately like this here. When t is equal to 4, s is equal to here t for 4, t for 2, t for sorry t for 4, here also t for 4. Let us substitute 4 cube minus 9 into 4 square plus 24 into 4 minus 18. Let it be simplified. 64 9 into 16 plus 96 minus 18 64 144 plus 96 minus 18 so now let us add these two see 96 64 10 160 this is 160 minus and 144 and 18 12 162 162 that means minus 2 so minus 2 means either two sides of the starting point after traveling either left side left hand side or right hand side for the two units the velocity become zero this is two units this is two units the minus sign indicates direction, that's all. 